Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time since we've uh, been talking to each other and communicating. Um, I apologize for that, but always keep in mind things are a little bit harder when it comes to real life. You know, when that kicks in, I apparently don't have the time to make content uh, on a daily basis. But nevertheless, here I am again and uh, this time I thought it's going to be time to talk about a little bit about the Viper again. So let's look at our Viper here. And the thing is, with all the new updates and all the new GPS INS guided munition, we now have the opportunity, of course, to set up targets in our um, mission editor here. For example, that one could be a possible target. And if you're going to click on that one, you can name this. OK, that's one thing as a reference. but way more important after the last couple updates of the uh, for the viper now you uh, really have to take care about the altitude you got to set this right if you want to have that like very dead on ground like here where we are right now it's an altitude of 720 feet 22 feet and this is exactly what's written in here so can happen that if you have older missions where you were just set to 6,500 feet or something like that, the problem is that your um, your targeting point would be somewhere six and a half thousand feet up in air. Okay, to counter that, just type in zero and it's going to automatically reset this to the lowest point available here on the map. So this is just one thing to keep in mind. But other than that, today I would like to talk about a different point. And that is, let's say we have a pre-planned cast route, for example. And now we all of a sudden get new coordinates from a JTAG, for example, intelligence, whatever that is going to be tossed over to us. And uh, they request cast support. And um, this is what I would like to show you today, how to utilize steer points. We already have done that in the Viper before, how to, you know, I was showing you in a in an earlier video how to create steer points and today i'm going to show you how to create not only steer points but to utilize them as new target reference points for your all new jdems and cbu 105s and jsos in the viper okay let's get started and see you up in the cockpit Okay, everybody, then let's go ahead. First things first. Let's uh, let's progress over to the first waypoint. And while we do so, I'm going to go ahead and select add a ground master mode. And over here, we're going to power on our CBU 105s that we got um, mounted, mounted on our pylons 3 and 7. You can see them down there is three and seven with your uh, missiles uh, missile step button on your joystick you can switch through the stations three and seven and what I'd like to do is I don't want to drop them in pairs rather than having coordinates for two different um, targets and this is what I would like to do I would like to go ahead and dial them in as steer points so we can drop these bombs on them Okay, so we are in pre-mode, which is fine and dandy, that's correct. Well, let's switch over to the HSD, so we're flying directly towards the waypoint one. Well, let's climb up. And why don't we go ahead and tell them, you know what? Take the steer point selector and keep on flying up with attitude halt. 
Here we go. All right. So as the plane is going to be autopilot right now, I have two new steer points here. So to enter them, I go to steer point and we have like one, two, three waypoints. So I know that waypoint four, here we go. That was because of the steer point selector. Waypoint four is not utilized right now. So what I want to do is waypoint four is going to get coordinates and waypoint five is going to get new coordinates. Okay, I got, I got them here. I assume you know how to enter them, so I'm only showing this for waypoint four. And I'm gonna skip waypoint five just, to, uh, five just to save a little bit of time, okay? So what I wanna do now is we are at 16,000 feet. I'm gonna switch over to altitude hold. Here we go. And rather than doing anything wonky right now, I'm gonna bring the jet into a little bank. Attitude hold, thanks. And let her roll. Okay. Now, let's progress. So the first waypoint is number four. And we have new coordinates, northing, three, five, zero, nine, four, three, nine. That's correct. Enter, then dobber down, easting. And always like easting and westing is always like east and then three digits. So it is for easting three three is easting zero three three one six five seven eight. Enter. And the last is the elevation, which is obviously what we saw in the mission editor before seven two two feet. Enter. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna skip. The video a little and uh, enter waypoint five or steer point five and uh, I'm gonna see you when that's done here we are again there's waypoint four with the coordinates supplied as I was typing that in for you guys to follow up and there's waypoint or steer point five and that one has different coordinates but the same elevation because both of these target areas are located on the on the air base we are going to attack. There are a couple um, enemy vehicles um, surrounding that uh, perimeter and uh, we're going to attack them. So the first attack run is going to be on waypoint four. So I do select that one coming over. We are still in air to ground mode. Now let's set master arm on, go over to the TGP and let the TGP take a look, making that one soy, and resetting it. Okay, so the, the teapot already tries to look there, but it's still covered and mask, masked by the jet. All right, so we're going ahead and approach, but on our right MFD, we make sure that our bomb, the CBU, um, 105 is powered on, it is aligned, and currently we have selected a single drop. We could go for a uh, um, 1,000 feet um, pair spacing drop in line or as pairs, okay? But I want to go with a single one. All right, so now this one's selected, the steer point is selected, and everything is good to go. All we gotta need, uh, all we gotta do is we are approaching the target area and wait for our little bomb queue to come down the uh, bomb fall line until we are in zone, and then all we gotta do is drop the bomb, select the next waypoint, wait for the queue to be in range, drop the bomb, and basically flying back home or waiting for a battle damage assessment or doing the battle damage assessment later on on our own. Both of them is working. So you can see that the uh, that the queue is still up on here and we're waiting for the queue to pass uh, or to come down to our flight path marker. And uh, this is what we wait for now. So let me uh, pause the video and come back 
when we are in range. We are closing in, as we can see, the queue's coming down. We are approaching the maximum drop, uh, the maximum drop range. Now, the queue's down to your flight path marker, and we can drop the bomb on the first target, as you can see, a couple of vehicles here. So, I'm gonna hold the trigger, weapon away, gonna select waypoint 5, which is over here, might go for some little adjustment, and then just drop it, and that's it. You can now disengage, and uh, let's watch these birdies to come in. Okay, that was a good shack. We had good effect on target and uh, we're cleared out of target area. It is a impressive standoff weapon and especially all JDAM, our INS GPS guided weapons are very impressive when it comes to that. And this is the way you can utilize um, steer point information given by a JTAG or intelligence and uh, yeah, utilize that for your um, GPS guided munition in DCS for the Viper. Folks, that wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, hope that helps you um, to get your hands on all these new weapon systems for the Viper in DCS. And uh, once again, I apologize for being late on my uh, next video. <laughs> As I said, it's hard sometimes for me to um, do that on regular basis, but I am here. Um, I thank all of you for staying with me and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new to here. And um, I might not be the best, you know, consistent uploader on YouTube, but I do upload stuff for you and uh, see you all next time again with a new and very exciting video. See you all and happy flying. Bye bye.